Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be discussing about why this is happening. I'll be talking about the issue that has been going on for the last 10, 11 months, I believe. And I think this is one of the reasons why players are leaving. And I'm going to be covering that in this video. And that is releasing brand new sets as pay to win. Why? Like, think about it. What will be the reason for Nikki to be, be doing that? Like, literally, for the last couple of years, they didn't even give us anything good. They didn't even do anything that um, captured people's attention. We were waiting. We were waiting. They gave us nothing. They gave us nothing except for new sets. But you have to pay for them. You think that's a good thing? What screams to me is that they're desperate and the amount of revenue they are receiving is going down and now they're desperately scrambling for ways to make more money by releasing these set offers to hopefully entice people to spend money again and bring the revenue back up. That is not a good thing. This means that players actually had enough and stopped spending money and if they stop spending money on this game it's highly likely they stop playing this game too and i can attest and i can attest to that if you go to google trends and if you search for for shadow fight 3 you can see that it's going down it's like took a nosedive and my views on this channel the amount of views i receive from making Shadow Fight 3 videos went down. And I noticed this on all Shadow Fight 3 channels. The amount of views you receive from making Shadow Fight 3 videos is going down. The game is dying. So the question is, why do you think they are constantly releasing new sets as pay to win? Well, I'll, I'll give you my answer. It's because nobody is spending money on this game anymore so that's my reasoning as to why why nikki is releasing new sets as pay to win so they are releasing these new sets as pay to win they are trying to entice people to spend money on this game again and what screams to me is desperation it's seeing your numbers going down and in order to fix that, you need to release more, more and more sales. They are selling you things that are already in the game. My point is, they're not making new content. They're just trying to make as much money as they can by selling you old content. That's all they're, that's all they're doing. Plus, they don't seem to be taking steps in the right direction. Which would be introducing new content. And that's one of the reasons why I think people are leaving. Not just the fact that Nikki keeps on releasing new sets as pay to win. If we actually had more new content and had more ways to, to grind for certain things. And if they made the new sets free by grinding by grinding certain marathons or for a certain battle pass we wouldn't have an issue at all they are not putting effort into the game and it shows they are losing players slowly and slowly the amount of revenue they're receiving is going down the amount of views you get for making shadow fight 3 videos is low it's losing popularity and i don't know what nikki is thinking when they are do when they are releasing these new sets as pay to win like no like they think that oh it's a new set oh it's a new set okay so i'm gonna buy it no people will spend money on this game if you show respect back to your player base and i don't think they deserve our love and our our support until they actually start caring for the community and actually start loving their community. But until then, it doesn't seem to be the case. It doesn't seem to be the case. But yeah, that is my reasoning as to why I think Nikki is releasing new sets 
as pay to win. Let me know down in the comments what you think as to why they are doing this. I would love to hear your thoughts. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.